for today's Refine Code community editing video, we are going to take a look at chromatic aberration and or better known as color fringing. What is chromatic aberration? Chromatic aberration is those little neon uh, pink, green, sometimes orange, sometimes teal edges that you see near highlights of an image. Generally, we find it when we're shooting wide open, We've got bright light on very hot areas against a contrasting area. You know, most people don't notice it, but when you're trying to elevate your editing and make it more professional, it is something that you want to look at starting to remove because we don't realize that our eye will attract those spots um, because they are not natural, but it does and it can make for um, a fussy image um, visually without knowing it. It's kind of a subconscious thing, but it's definitely something that we want to take care of. I learned this the hard way. I shoot a lot of stock photography for Stocks United and some commercial work. I submitted some images um, you know, several years ago and they all got rejected and they sent them back to me because they were like, can you please remove the color, the chromatic aberration? And I was like, what the heck is that? And I had to look it up and figured it out and learned how to remove it. So ever since then, it's something that I'm very diligent about um, with my personal editing and um, it's something that I think a lot of people miss and don't think about uh, fixing in their images. So let's take a look at it. I have four images here. Each of them have chromatic aberration in different areas and uh, let's just go ahead and take a look. So in this image, first look, you probably don't even really notice it. Um, this is not an edited image. I'll take an edit edit for a second in a second. But if you look around the image, specifically around these white highlights or the white areas that are very bright against a contrasting dark area, you see the color fringing. See all these glowy edges. Um, it's very strong here on her hand on the highlight. And like I said, it happens mostly when you're shooting wide open or very wide open or um, with prime lenses is when we see it the most. Um, but there's a variety of times you know, it's all over these areas here. In this image, um, it is along her shirt line here because we have this hard contrast. See right along, it's like just a little neon glow all around these edges. And this one has a couple colors. Um, we have it here in the edge of the fins on the wakeboard. We have it all in both the boys' hair because the highlights were hitting so hard on their hair. We have some, that's pink, and then we have some green all along their clothing and skin here and a little bit in the edge of her hair here. And on this one, you notice there's nothing on them. Um, maybe a tiny bit right in here and right in here. Oh, we do have some purple up here, and then we also have green on the pier behind them. So we're going to take a look at how to remove that best and, you know, elevate your editing. So let's go ahead and just open up presets just so I can get a quick edit on this. I'll go ahead and use Refine 2, and I'm going to lift and just go ahead and get this where I would want the image. That's a good spot. Let's go ahead and bring this crop in a little so we can get it tighter and we can get a better visual of this chromatic aberration. All right, so here we are. What you want to do is when you're in develop, I had that open already, but when you're in develop panel, you want to go down to lens corrections and then you want to make sure you click on manual. Sometimes profile is the one that's up, so you want to click on manual. And um, so for this image, we have mostly like a pink purple. So there's a couple ways uh, you can do it. Personally, I like to manually slide the sliders. Um, some people like to use the eyedropper. And what I found with this, unfortunately, is that, I mean, you look how strong that was. It took all of the color out of her hands there. Um, let me undo and see if I can, you know, fine tune it a little more. It still just took too much, and that's why I don't generally use the eyedropper personally. Um, but what I would do is go ahead and slide this slider just until we don't lose gray. And then it still didn't get everything. You see there's a little bit of this orange left. The pink is gone, but the orange remains. So what we want to do is on the second slider is we want to increase the slider a little more towards orange. So that way it takes care of the pink and the orange. There we go. All of this is gone here and it's gone on her hands. It's gone on the fence. Uh, just looking around to see if I have any others that are standing out and pretty apparent. Nope. I think that looks good.
um, for this image. Like I said, it's right here along these edges here, and we actually have two colors, so that might be a little trickier. So what we're going to do first, let's go ahead and take care of the purple first since we already worked with that slider. So I'm just sliding it very slightly. You can see that's all I had to do. Very quick. Um, it's pretty easy. And you don't want to do too much because then you start removing color everywhere else. And you do want to watch any important areas that have that same color in it and make sure it didn't wash things out too much. And then let's take care of the green line. So with the green line, we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to slide the slider. And you can see we have a little more here. That took care of this. So what we want to do is we want to open that up to the, a little bit more of this yellow green. And you can start seeing it disappear. There you go. And for this one, we had uh, two on here as well. We had the purple in their hair and the green on his shirt. So same thing, purple slider. Just slide it down, and that actually took care of that pretty quickly. I'm opening up this color spectrum a little bit just to add a little orange because I saw some over here. And then let's take care of all of this green we see here. Slide the slider until it's gone. Here we go. And like I said, we can open this up a little. And if you watch, I'm going to put it back. If you watch her hair, all in here we have this green, but it's a little more of a yellow green, so a little further down the spectrum line. And you can see it start to go away. There you go. And that this isn't even an edited image. Um, and then this looks like it didn't quite completely get over here. This color might be a little stronger or a little broader. So... There you go. And then the last one, same thing, it's green. And I haven't even edited these. I would normally edit them, but I'm just going to save time on the video for you guys. It looks like we may have some actual color in this. There it is. Just had to pull that so I can pull that back. Perfect. And let's take care of this little bit of purple in her hair. And open this up just a smidge. There you go. So that is how you take care of chromatic aberration and or color fringing in your images. Elevate your editing just that much more, especially if you want to be shooting stock or commercial uh, where things are going to be printed or you have a buyer buying them. Um, they're just not going to want the color fringing. So they're going to look for that and it's something that you want to remove. But thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below and I'll be back next week for a new video.